Murray cod is an Australian icon. It really is our flagship freshwater fish. But unfortunately, stocks are estimated at around 10% of what they originally were, and they've become extinct in many of the small waterways in which they were once found here in the Murray-Darling Basin. At this facility about 160 k's northeast of Melbourne, scientists are trying to determine if the size and bag limits we currently have for Murray cod will mean there'll still be plenty around to catch in the future. Today, they're catching some prime specimens. These futuristic looking tentacles are used for electrofishing. They send an electrical current through the water that temporarily stuns the fish and brings it to the surface, where it's netted and recovers in a live well. The minimum legal size limit for Murray cod is 50 centimetres in most Australian states. But until now, little research has actually been done to determine if these fish have reached sexual maturity by 50 centimetres. If they haven't, it means they haven't produced any offspring to replenish natural stocks before they're taken. This cod has been placed in water with anaesthetic. It's about to go under the knife, but that of a surgeon rather than a filleting knife. So what's the surgery made of? Well, what we're trying to do, uh, Giovanna, is to determine whether the fish is a male or female and also determine whether it's mature yet or whether it's still immature. Well, it allows us to, uh, to find out that information without the traditional method, which is to kill the fish and look inside it. We've got about two to three minutes here, so we've got to try and be quick. It's a simple procedure. Paul's cutting a tiny keyhole opening in the fish's belly and then inserting a lens to have a quick look around. Can you see some eggs? She's a, uh, quite a mature female. Do you want to have a look? Yes, definitely. Oh, wow. Yeah, probably probably just fine. into one stitch. And then she's stitched up before she comes round. Murray cod re have a relatively low fecundity rate compared to some of its freshwater cousins. Small females will produce around 10,000 eggs, and a larger one, say 20 kilo mark, will produce around 90,000. She goes, she's coming around a bit now. How long do they usually take to recover after surgery? Uh, if all's well and good, uh, two or three minutes. Should uh, see her riding herself. Yeah. It's still early days for the study, and principal scientist Wayne Fulton says a lot more research needs to be done across the far-reaching Murray-Darling Basin. We've found so far that there's a, there's a good degree of variation. Actually, we're getting fish mature at quite a small size, but we're also finding in some areas that fish uh, are not maturing uh, as early as others. In the meantime, some two to 300,000 Murray cod fingerlings are bred here at Snobs Creek for release back into the waterways every year. If you want to learn more about restocking or research into the iconic Murray cod, log on to the FRDC website for more info.